This is this is art. Oh, how it is! It's all chocolate art. That is crazy. Chocolate art. How, oh. did, how did you get into this? So it's kind of a long journey. Uh -huh. uh, started out as a lawyer, almost a decade, but looking for something I was truly passionate about. Went to culinary school, discovered chocolate, which, as all of you, I know as a consumer, big chocolate fan. Big chocolate fan, but I didn't know it was really a sculptural medium. You can yeah. shape it and color it and do cool things. Uh huh. So once I realized I could make very interesting pieces, I was off. Wow. Ooh, what and is, it, this it's such a delicate medium, too, because I imagine you can break it quite easily if you it's do it wrong. It's very temperamental. It's yeah. like small children. You have to treat it exactly right for it to behave. <laughs> what inspires your creations? Uh, I think inspiration is everywhere. Unique uh -huh. ideas come from unique sources. So pop culture, fashion, art, but also, you know, journals I kept when I was in high school. So wow, all over yeah. the place. Does the shape pertain to the flavor? Like, does this taste like coffee? Does this taste like a Belgian waffle, a chocolate waffle? Does this taste like a donut? The lattes have different coffee flavors in them. Mm -hmm. The lipsticks do not taste like lipstick. Oh, duh. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Just to make that very clear. Yeah. So obviously, uh, Maggie brought some of her best sellers for us to taste. What should we try first? Well, the first would be the one that put us on the map. And that actually is the chocolate lipstick. Oh, yeah. So can you eat it? You can eat the whole thing. You Does can it, eat the whole thing? It, yeah. Can you put it on your lips, too, if you want Yes, you it? can. It's not how we kind of started it, but hey. Let me, Beautiful. And now you can take a bite. This is actually how I, my wife's lipstick, I just go. Uh, <laughs> I believe it. Oh my God, that's good. That's not hollow, that's solid it's too. Solid chocolate. That's awesome. That's right. Look at you, you're trying to put it on your lips right now. Yeah, I gotta mentally prepare myself for eating oh, lipstick. <laughs> that's, and it has to be such an interesting uh, like experiment just to it's get good. the colors right. It's good, my lipstick right doesn't taste like this. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. And then we have sushi here. This is cool. Okay, so this was our first custom shape that we did top to bottom. And it's That's sushi, really which we all love. Mm. Um, so this also does not taste like what it looks like. <laughs> right. It tastes like mocha crunch and peanut butter candy. Uh, but it's one of our most popular. People love to give it to their pregnant friends who oh, that's can't eat sushi. That's, that's, that was the... So a little how unexpected. Long, how long does it take to make one of these little sushi? Oh, you're going to use the chopsticks. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm a professional. Very authentic. Very authentic. I want to see how, can you pick, you're not going to be able to pick have. it up. Oh, it's see? happening. It's very slippery. Could, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> so delicate. There you go. There it Look is. Now. <laughs> one bite now. I want to bite it, see what's inside. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Just put Thank the whole thing in there. Like, I feel like you don't want to eat, though. It's such pretty art. Like, it's so special. It encourages mm -hmm. moderation, which is a good thing. You know, it's, right. it's built for moderation. Right yeah. <laughs> the picture of moderation. The picture of moderation there. Mm. Then you have your lattes here as mm -hmm. well, right? Those are new lattes. this year. They're tiny little latte cups. Um, this is a set we have out right now, all shades of pink. And it says, love you a latte. Oh, hey, Kel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so cute. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! That's some good stuff.